Welcome, Cancers. This is the month of September. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This month of September is the month of an earth energy. It is the month where you're going to be having a um, situation with cooperation institution. And in this month, um, we are going to be bringing out the energies um, that is going to be coming up for you guys. So, Cancers, I hope you're doing well. It has been um, a very, 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 very um, rough time for you, Cancers. You have been trying to resolve issues. Um, so, please remember to like and share these videos. It's um, very important. Like and share these videos and become a member of the channel you can um, become a member of the channel by starting off with a dollar 99 which will give you guys these readings i want to say um thank you to each and every person that has been supporting my channel i love you cancers um it is my opposite sign and i love you guys so much so cancer a lot has been going on you have two major or corner that is protecting you in this month you have the eye princess and you have the wheel of fortune so delays are going to be um over so wonderful um situation that is coming up for you cancers i see you ladies are standing in your reading so that is very very wonderful some of you ladies are dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn child and uh, I see your, uh, you have a, a sister or a mother, um, a young um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Um, there could be your husband that is um, an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a sister or a mother-in-law or a mother that is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. Whoever this person is, um, you are dealing with a whole lot of air sign. Information is coming out. However, this is transpiring. So, um, there is five weeks in the month of September. Um, the first week is the energy of the month. Go and listen to the general readings. This is going to be good for you because the general readings is going to be giving you a lot of positive energies. So, then we look at fire in the second week. Um, in the third week, we have the energy of water. Um, in the fourth week, the energy of water. And then the fifth week, the energy of the hair. And this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So, Ken says, before I do, let's get in this reading. Center of the reading is success. Success over um, two energies, an Aquarian, Gemini, and a Libran. Um, some of you are going to be very successful. These could be kids or these could be people or these could be people who were coming at you. Um, some of you could be harassed by an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. Um, however, this is coming up. Uh, these are people, information that could be coming out and uh, um, some sort of issue that you're dealing with uh, around you. So um, as we look at the cross, I see transition. Um, some of you um, are going to be um, dealing with some issues that has to do with your sister or a friend who is an Aquarian, Gemini and Libra and it has to do with some sort of a money. It could be a sister, it could be a friend, however that is transpiring. Then we see new love is coming in from a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. This is something that some of you wanted. I see some sort of aggressive information is going to be coming into some of you. So be aware of that. Some of you could be dealing with your um, with, a, with family members that, that is an older or younger Aquarian, Gemini or Libra man. And these could be coming up as family member or it could be a partner coming at you with harsh words. Be aware of this because this sort of a situation is there. I see some of you are protecting yourself from this devastating situation with this person. Whoever this person is, is coming at you with really strong, harsh words. And I see you're going to be protecting yourself from this issue and situation. So, um, cancers be on top of your game. 
So as we look at each individual week, what we're seeing that is happening and transpiring is that in the first week, some of you are dealing with an issue and a situation with a corporation institution that has to do with an Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion. So I see um, love will be offered um, to the Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion. Maybe it's the mother that is asking for some sort of a help for some of you Cancers. I see this person is opening up showing love to a corporation, institution, whatever the issue and the situation is, this person is asking for some sort of a help for some of you. Then I see some of you could be divorcing a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or is in love with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but I see that um, their um, ex is um, looking and is spying on you both so be aware of this because this is definitely definitely going to be coming up whether this ex is and whatever is transpiring this ex is as if they can't let go and they're spying on some of you as we look at the second week as you're moving forward this is not a week of victory and success it's a week of you accepting and moving forward i see new love is coming in and i see a whole lot of you are going to be happy um your boredom is now over because new love is coming in and i see you're really excited about this new love that is coming in and you're enjoying yourself whatever is transpiring i see some of you are dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn man this is definitely a man and this man could be financial stability stable and i see that um you are happy um that the relationship is going good this is a person that you want in your life this is definitely a masculine energy as we look at the third week it is a week of transition so there is some sort of a transition when it comes up to a pisces cancer scorpion woman and her son okay that is a taurus virgo or capricorn now Whatever the transition is that is coming in, I see some of you, some harsh words are coming to you. And I see that some of you are trying to protect yourself from these information and these harsh words that is coming at you. Because it could have been something that some of you have done where I see um, a mother-in-law or a sister-in-law or a brother-in-law or a father-in-law could be... Um, um you know exercising some sort of a harsh word to some of you and you're protecting yourself from this transition is definitely going to be coming up if you're a um a friends with an aquarian gemini or libran i see some form of transition is going to be coming up between you and this person then we move forward and we see the energy of the moon Intuition is going to be high. A lot of you, your intuition is going to be on top. I see some of you are trying to protect some sort of a money. Um, you ladies are standing strong. You all cancer ladies are really standing strong, dealing with an issue and a situation. Um, you are standing strong, protecting yourself, your family, and this is going to be good. Um, however, this is happening and transpiring. I see some of you are really protecting your financial stability and this is going to be very, very positive. Then the intuition, your intuition was right about a, um, a someone who have used their powers in the wrong way. Your intuition was right about a, um, Aries Leo or Sagittarian person, whoever this person is, and whatever was transpiring, your intuition was right. Some of you could be dealing with some sort of an issue um, with your father-in-law and your partner that is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Um, I see these two people are coming at you very, very hard. And you have some, it's, it's as if... Uh, um, you're now over this, okay? You're definitely now over this. You're seeing things for what it is. You're over this. You're trying to um, put the pieces back in your life and you're moving on. There's no question. You are definitely, definitely moving on. Then we look at the, um, the last week. And in the last week, you are going to be ending the month having some sort of a, um, new starts overcoming 
some sort of an issue. Some of you were dealing with um, an Aquarian young person between the ages of 18 and 45. Whoever these people were and whatever that was transpiring between you and these people, you're going to be leaving them behind at the end of the month of September moving forward. So it could have been aggressiveness that is coming at you. It could have been these people were stalking you. However, it is transpiring. You were, you're definitely dealing with some Aquarian, Gemini or Libran between the ages of 18 and 45. I see some of you are going to be leaving your husband, whoever this person is, um, um, 50 years or over and is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. It could be your child's father, because I see the energy of the father and child. And I see you're going to be protecting yourself and protecting your child. It's as if you realize that this relationship no longer serves any purpose and is uh, um, affecting you in a very low energy sort of a way. And you are going to be making the decision in order to resolve this. So I see some of you are protecting yourself from a corporation institution. Whatever the issue and the situation is, I see you're going to be overcoming this. There is happiness and joy successfully overcoming some sort of a um, issue and situation, maybe with a car dealership, or, um, maybe with some sort of a, a issue that was creating some problems for you, you're definitely going to be overcoming all of this issue with this corporation institution because you're trying to protect yourself. Then we see the energy of uh, being um, free, um, and this is for women 50 years and older, um, you could be getting out of a relationship or getting out of some sort of an issue that you were dealing with um, with a Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. So um, um, this is really um, a wonderful, um, positive month and alignment of energy um, that is going to be coming up and is going to be transpiring in your world where you are resolving some sort of issues. Um, that was happening and transpiring, and this is going to be good. Then when we look, we see new love is coming in. Um, some of you could have been dating someone, and I see that uh, this new love that is coming in, you're going to be moving forward with this person. I see you ladies are trying to protect your financial stability, holding on to your financial stability. I see a corporation institution. Um, some of you ladies could be asking, um, your excuses or asking for some sort of a help. I see transition is going to be coming in and I see the end for a young um, lady between the age of 18 and 45 that is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra together um, with a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Whoever these two people are, I see they're um, asking um, for an, an apology or asking for some excuses from a corporation institution. I see a transition is going to be coming in. If you notice, um, the end is coming up for a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man and for a, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra woman. Whatever um, these people have done, I see they're asking for some sort of a pardon from a corporation institution. Then we see um, happiness and joy. A lot of you have been listening to your own intuition, and that is good. I see some of you are out of the boredom. Some of you are looking um, looking back at the past. It is better to look at the future. I see you're going to be realizing that the past is behind you, and you're going to be um, creating a new start for yourself moving forward and protecting yourself on the way moving forward. I see whoever that was in aggressive relationship and that sort of a thing is going to be ending the sort of a aggressive um, relationship or aggressiveness that is coming from other people and you're going to be shutting it down. A whole lot of you have to um, are going to be meeting a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man and uh, some of you are going to be meeting an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Um, this relationship could be... Um, coming to a standstill um, with this um, um, Tor uh, Aries Leo, um, with this uh, Aquarian Gemini or Libra person, the relationship could be coming at a standstill. So be aware of that. Then we are looking at uh, this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. 
a transition is going to be coming up. I see you're coming at this man with a kind hard, really hard um, um, aggressiveness in your words uh, um, because of some sort of a conflict. Uh, and it has to do with an Aquarian Gemini or a Libra young lady um, with something they have found out that this lady has took a lot of money. I see you're standing your ground and uh, realizing that this young lady has uh, taken a lot of money. And I see you are standing your ground and asking that the money be returned. I see that you are realizing that your intuition was right um, about what was going on. And I see you're going to be overcoming uh, this issue and this situation. So it is um, really... Uh, uh, um, a situation where a lot of was going on around you and now you're trying to bring some sort of a balance um, in this month of September. So you ladies, um, new love is going to be coming in, money um, is going to be coming in. I see you ladies are protecting your financial um, situation. Um, I see a whole lot of you are going to be moving forward, releasing yourselves from some burden, some situation and um, that was going on. I see transition is coming up for an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra um, man between the age of 18 and 45. And I see some of you are protecting yourself from this person um, or protecting this person. Um, however way um, it is going, it could be two sides where some of you could be ending re the relationship with this person and protecting yourself. I see your intuition was right on top, okay? Um, you were right about some sort of a, a situation that was going on. I see a whole lot of you protecting yourself from people in authority. And um, you're just um, taking um, the high road, um, you're really just taking the eye road because it's as if you realize that these people was not being honest and you're um, taking the eye road moving forward in a mere positive direction. Whoever was dealing some with some sort of an issue with a corporation institution, I see they're kind of offering some sort of a protection or, um, you know, excuses, that sort of a thing that is um, coming up. So you have two major arcana, the High Princess, and uh, then you have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Lace are over, however, this is coming up and transpiring. Um, it is, and it has been, um, yeah, a, a couple of months of a, a whole lot of stuff that has been going on. And finally, some sort of a secrecy is now out. And uh, um, a whole lot of you are going to be taking the high road in order to um, let and leave a situation behind you. So, wonderful uh, month. I want to say um, to you Cancers, please like and share these videos, whatever is coming up. However, this is uh, affecting your world. Um, see it as a lesson. Let it go. Move on. Um, leave this month of September um, just being aligned with the correct energies. Um, however, it is coming up and transpiring. Um, you have to know and understand that sometimes we need to bring balance to certain issue and situation in our worlds. I'm going to say namaste until next time.